today we thought that Rishi Sunak was going to make some announcements about tax. We were getting a bit excited about that. We were definitely going to cover it on this programme. And instead, he announced something completely different. You know what I'm going to say? A government WhatsApp chat. Oh. Have you heard about this? <laughs> um, and I think we might have a little bit of, uh, a little bit of uh, stuff so you can see him doing it. We have an announcement. We had to retire the town crier. Sorry, Alan. But for the most important information from the government, direct to your phone. Follow us on WhatsApp. Thanks for the follow, Alan. Cheers. Gosh, utterly <laughs> excruciating, isn't it? Um, uh, goodness me. And, of course, we'll be paying for that. We'll be paying for that, Charlie. Did we want that? I, I checked out because I thought, what on earth are they going to have on it? What's going to be on the government WhatsApp channel? And it's stuff like, you know, announcements about vaccines or jabs or um, uh, childcare allowances. But essentially, it seems to me that it's information you can get from many other places. They'll be telling you stuff you probably already know and if you're interested in, could find out elsewhere. But do we want bulletins from the government on WhatsApp? Well, the first thing to say is that I think I want Alan back. I don't want him to stay. I don't know why he's been retired in this way. Uh, because he's brilliant by the looks mm. of things. But, but on a serious point, I think, look, this was trialled, um, I think, something like this um, uh, six months ago when you were talking about, you know, if you're having um, uh, a, a weather disaster in a particular area, the government can uh, issue you a warning to your phone directly. It's, it's increasing communications. It's better alerting the public, better equipping them when things uh, come down the stream that you might need to be aware of in, in quick time. No more different than getting a text message from the NHS if you're being, you know, encouraged to, to go and see a GP at a particular time of year. Uh -huh. No different from a school texting you about your sort of, you know, uh, uh, school closures or something like that. I just think it's a way in which government can get to the public as, as quickly as possible when it needs to, Except only when Jonathan, it needs to. Except, reduplication of this. I mean, if you want to know about the weather, you go on the weather app, don't you? Yeah, you I mean, about like... the news, you go to the, the news app or you turn on Talk TV, if you've got any sense. And, and, and I mean, you don't need the government to, to do this. And, and we have to pay. Someone's doing this for them and we're having to fund it. Look, if there's a, a national disaster or a national emergency and the government needs to sort of uh, communicate very quickly, I fully support the ability to text all mobile phones. And that's mm. what was trialled last spring, yeah. uh, which people remember. Um, but I don't, you know, there was obviously a famous saying in America about get the government out of the bedroom. Get the government out of my WhatsApp. <laughs> I don't need the government to let me know about the... Except the Alicia schemes. is looking forward to it. She's a political correspondent. We can't wait to get a minute by minute bulletins from the government straight into oh, the Oh, I phone. can't wait. You look thrilled. Don't you look excited? Well, there, that, but also, I'm like, am I going to be out of a job if they're getting there before me, before I even manage to sit on the sofa? They've Definitely. told everyone. It's all a bit Big Brother like, isn't it? It's all about the telescreen, you know, sort of the latest bulletin from Big Brother. It's, it, it makes me uncomfortable, to be honest. So the I government is able to communicate okay, with you and everyone. Show, show of hands. It, all those in favour say aye. Oh, Charlie, <laughs> Charlie. <laughs>